The Creighton Blue Jays are still in the big dance. Their second game in the NCAA tournament tips off tomorrow night. Sports director Clayton Collier is in Pittsburgh ahead of the matchup against the Oregon Ducks. Creighton will look to advance to their third Sweet 16 in the last four years on Saturday, but standing in their way, the ultimate blast from the past as they take on Oregon and their former head coach, Dana Altman. Altman put Creighton basketball on the map, guiding the Jays to seven NCAA tournament berths in 16 seasons before Greg McDermott took over in 2010. The respect both coaches have for one another was on full display at this afternoon's news conferences. Dana's era uh, of him as a coach and the guys that played for him, you know, laid the groundwork for you know for me to happen and Doug to happen and the Big East to happen. None of that. None of that is that's a that's a pipe dream uh, without Dana Altman. Love the job he's done at Creighton. You know, it's so good to watch from afar. Might be my ego or whatever, but I still feel a part of it. You know, I still cheer for him. Uh, my family's all back in Nebraska, and you know, Oregon might be one, but Creighton's 1A. The bond between McDermott and Altman remains so strong, both appeared remorseful that one will have to end the other season. It's tough to play Creighton. I wish the committee wouldn't have done that. You know, there are other threes we could have played. It's uh, uh, interesting that we ended up in the same bracket. Uh, but uh, you know, the, the good news is one of us is going to go on. And I guess the bad news is one of us is going to have to go home. My focus is on Dante and Jermaine and, and the fellows I got now. And I'm sure you know Creighton feels the same way. Oh, you bet they do. And Folly Dante is another major challenge for Creighton in the low post. He drew eight fouls, put up 23 points in the win over South Carolina. Then you go out to the perimeter where Jermaine Kusnar dropped a 40 piece on the Gamecocks. Creighton gets the last game of the night on Saturday, a 940 Eastern tip against the Ducks. From Pittsburgh, Clayton Collier, 6 News Sports.